As many people may know, I did have a stroke about a year and a half ago, and I've been recovering. I wrote a book about this, uh, the various things that I'm doing to try to recover activity-based neuroplasticity. And all of that's very helpful, but what I'd like to do now is just um, give a free exercise. It doesn't cost anything. You don't have to have any equipment. You don't have to pay for anything. It's just something you can do with your arms and legs to uh, help you to um, recover from stroke as well as to, I think, to prevent subsequent strokes because I've had two and two is enough. I don't want three. So the thing that I find helps me the most, especially if I've been sitting for too long or, or starting to feel a little bit glazed over, is a, is a very simple exercise. It's called nitric oxide release. Sometimes it's called an NO dump, but nitric oxide release. So what is nitric oxide? It's nitrogen and oxygen, two nuclei together. It's, it's a diatomic gas that's actually used as a cardiovascular signaling molecule. And it causes your uh, vascular comes, you know, signals your vascular endothelial cells to relax their smooth muscles. So it actually causes vasodilation. And if you do this um, regularly, I think it really, really helps keep your circulation up, keep your um, awareness up and your, your, your sharpness up. And it really helped me a lot in my recovery from stroke. So what I'd like to do is just show you this very simple exercise, okay? The basic idea is you move your arms and legs vigorously. And you just, it, the whole thing can be done in about a minute. So this is exactly what I do. I start off by just raising my hands to the front like this. I do that about 10 times. And then I raise my hands to the side, like this. That's a different muscle group, this, the lateral deltoids, okay? Then I raise my hands up, like this. Like I'm pushing up the ceiling, you know, raise the roof. Then, to do a different muscle group, my biceps, I do this about 10 times. Then, it's almost like clapping, but I go a little further. I do this about 10 times. It's got to be vigorous though, okay? And at the end, I do this like I'm pushing somebody away about 10 times. And then I'll hold on to something, or I've gotten really good at not having to hold on to things because my balance has really come back. And I think this exercise has contributed a lot to that. Go down and up, down and up. Do that about 10 times. And then hold on to something, like the edge of a table or something, and go up and down. And I'm just raising, I'm just flexing and extending my ankles. So I'm going up on my toes, right? And I do that about 10 times. So I'm going to go through this exercise exactly the way I do it. I'll do it quickly. <clears throat> okay. Starting off, the idea is to do this vigorously. And I'll do between 10 and 20 reps, depending on how I'm feeling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Feeling much better. Six, seven, eight, ten, and then toe raises. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toes slightly bent, and that's very helpful. Now, the really cool thing about these exercises, couldn't do them after my first stroke easily. So I would have to actually, let me adjust this. I would have to actually do them seated. But you can do these exercises while seated, being careful, right? And you don't have to start off being super vigorous, but the more vigorous that you are, the more effective these exercises are. So you can start by raising your hands to the front, and you'll notice I'm seated in the chair, and then to the side, and then pushing up curling like that and doing 10 reps of each, but I'm just going through it fast like that. And when I was unable to stand, I was still able to get a good, quick cardiovascular workout. The whole thing takes about a minute, maybe two minutes. 
and it really sharpens you. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm feeling a lot sharper right now. I'm speaking a lot more sharply. So here's the strategy I use. I set my smartphone to give me an alarm every two hours, 20 minutes after the hour throughout the day. If I've been sitting for a long time, I just stop whatever I'm doing and I get up and I do that exercise. Okay. You can do it while you're lying in bed. Most of those arm movements, you can do leg movements while you're lying in bed. The idea is be as vigorous as you can and do this fairly frequently during the day. I try to do it once every hour. Okay. Different people will argue different things. They'll say, well, you've got to do it several times and you have to do this and that to release all the nitric oxide from your vascular endothelium. I don't think that's necessary. I think you just want a good shot of nitric oxide about once every hour to two hours at the most. So I use my internal clock to tell me when it's 20 minutes after the hour. And I check myself. I always look at the, at the time. And it's like, okay, it's almost that time. I'll get up, I'll do the exercise. And my goal is to, to preempt, to beat my own alarm. So I'm doing it at least once every two hours and better yet, once every hour. And even better than that, whenever you start to feel a little bit off, move your arms and legs. I think that, you know, I really believe this is true. Sitting is, is the new smoking. Sitting too long <clears throat> is really, really bad for you. And when you're really healthy, you don't notice this. But when you're sort of not so healthy, like I was, you notice it very dramatically when you've been sitting too long. And it has a big impact on my ability, even my ability to speak, certainly my ability to move and to think. So I think getting up and, and exercising once every hour is an excellent idea. If you can do it more frequently than that, that's even better. But I'm not saying that you have to constantly be flailing your arms and legs around all day, every day. But you should do it frequently. You shouldn't sit for that long. So the idea is here, if you can stand, you can do this. If you can only do a few repetitions, that's fine. And you can build up, like I could only do about three or four when I first had my, my second stroke and only seated. I could hardly lift my arms above my head. But now I can do a really vigorous 20 repetitions. And I try to do 20 once every two hours and then every other hour, I'll do maybe a quick 10 pull things over with in about a minute or two, you'll feel a lot better. And frankly, I think I've been able to go a year and a half without another stroke by doing this because by allowing vasodilation, better circulation, I think that has overall cardiovascular benefit. And I think as soon as you start becoming bedridden or chair ridden and not really getting up very often, you're really harming yourself quite a lot. So this is based on Dr. Zach, Bush's NO dump is nitric oxide release, but mine has more arm movements. You don't have to do them in any specific order. You can add to them. You can change them. I actually do a variation where I'm squeezing uh, like grip um, exercise rings. And I'm, what you're basically trying to do is vigorously engage all the major muscle groups in your body and trying to do this as vigorously as you can in as short a period of time as you can. You don't have to buy any special equipment. <clears throat> you don't have to go to a gym. Basically, all you have to do is get up out of a chair and just start doing this. And if you can't get out of the chair, you just start doing it in the chair. I'll set my laptop aside on the table there. And I'll start moving my arms and legs. And then I'll go back to work. And I think, I honestly believe, based on my own personal experience and based on sort of a theory of what's going on biologically, because I'm, I'm a medical scientist, I think this is going to really help a lot of people if you just move vigorously for one minute every hour. Basically, that's what I'm recommending. So that's what I do. Um, the, the exercise is very simple. I demonstrated it earlier. You can go through it and um, you can do as many repetitions as you want. I recommend between 10 and 20. Try to do them as vigorously as you can. You'll get better and better with time and do them frequently, don't sit too long. And that's my recommendation and I hope it's helpful.